Sun and Leo. <laughs> the lion comes to Earth for just one reason, he thinks. He's come to Earth to rule. And that's no treason. It's true. And most of us admit that it is so. As this amazing Leo's son enjoys to grow. They love to grow more than they love anything else. They love the progress of everything at a glance. They want to see all things they do to flourish and to grow into something completely new. And that's perplexing for Leo is a fixed sign. But in their fixed demeanor, they do spend much of their time in constant realignment of that which they think is worthy of growth. And in much speculation in their mind, they get very confused, of course, and they present themselves in ways that are not worthy or give themselves away to people in a hurry. And they don't really understand what's there to be what it should be. So funny that <laughs> this Leo sun is in its house of nativity for Leo, you know, loves the sun. It rules the sun, we think. But here's the deal, though. Here the sun is a little bit thick. The energy itself is thick. It pours like liquid butter. The energy of Leo sun is not about great banter or laughter, even though the house of children is directly here. But Leo doesn't like the idea. He doesn't like the idea of having children often, for he himself is that which is eternity. He is the child. He offers us no money and no great adventure. He wants us to come to him for any question or venture. He wants to be the one around whom everything is turning. As for him, he is the sun. He is the one that's burning. And that is why I feel that Leo is not the sun at all. That's why I fear that perhaps the sun is a great big ball of energy that's not defined by any zodiac sign. And this is why I fear to tell you, for this is a very new astrological crime, that Leo is not sun at all. He's just Pluto. As you will surely understand, I do forgo much channeling missions and in this realization, this is a big decision, but Pluto is the ruling planet of Leo because this fabulous sun here doesn't like to be too much of a gleamer. The sun energetically doesn't freaking care. The sun is just pure and the sun is just there. There is no thought or stimulation. The sun as a planetary body, as a great big star, has no need for any action or fracting or fractioning, any kind of calamity. For the sun as an entity is above all this. We just spiraling through space following it because we cannot be without. But Leo, in its frequency, is not what that's about. Leo is ruled by Pluto. <laughs> because Pluto is unworthy. He creates around him a world which he thinks will bring him glory. And that's the perplexi perplexity. The perplexity. Perplexity of Leo all his life. To create for him a world that has no strife, a world where everything is pure and delightful, a world where he's elevated, where he's not so frightful. A Leo frequency itself is very thick indeed, for Leo doesn't like to know this, but he's not really here to lead. 
He's here to elevate eventually to something that's much higher. And in a way, this is a really ridiculous desire for in the end of life, he knows that things are easy because in service and surrender, he will see that life is a lot more breezy. You see, Leo has already fathomed the idea of cancer, that family and who you have around you is what makes you a prince or a princess. But then he doesn't see that Virgo's next. So <laughs> this is very basic in prose, plain text. Leo wants to be the star because it's all he's ever known. But here is the thing, because in his life, he's not yet shown remorse for anything he's done. He's not shown any kind of perseverance to help anyone. He doesn't like giving. He doesn't like being for another. He doesn't really like serving. He doesn't really like it unless he's like a mother, somebody who's got control over the other being. And this is why the sun here in Leo is only really bothered with its own receiving. Uh, this person doesn't really care about telling others that they're good. This person actually feels really threatened by other people in their neighborhood. This person feels threatened because they feel judged. They feel incredibly um, sterilized. They feel clutched by society. They feel that society should walk around them as a great power. But we don't really see that in Leo. We disempower them somehow. We don't give them enough or make them a joke. And this is why Leo's son has a little bit of a block. They feel they're the most powerful person in the world sometimes. But they don't see that their true power lies in the need to be with others as a helper not as the priest, not as the prize. They will eventually show themselves better. They will eventually come to the letter. They will try so hard to be somebody who's one and so worthy. Yet in the end, they'll find that this whole thing was just a beautiful story that didn't really come to that much. They will need to know in time they're not the worthiest of the bunch to be on a pedestal or some kind of elevation. They need to succumb to a knowing that they've got poor discretion. As a leader or a king or any kind of uniting power, they're showing us that Earth is not meant to be in that kind of arrangement. We flower like natural beings all in our own field. We don't need a great leader. We don't need um, to you know, give somebody our feed. We don't need to give somebody something all the time because everybody knows on this planet by now, I hope, what's yours is mine. We just share. Everyone's exactly the same. And that's why Leo Sun <laughs> has got a furious name. Leo the Sun, Leo the Ruler. He is the King. He is our undoer. Leo eventually does become something steepled and something that evokes the attention from numerous people. And this is beautiful and completely destructive because when Leo is elevated too high, he is not so productive. He becomes a goof and somebody that we secretly laugh at. He becomes the great power, the totalitarian leader who's nothing, you see? So the cry for help from others is what he must adhere. When we are looking for him, that's when Leo should be here. When we ask, please help me, where are you? That's where Leo should come in. And that's the role that's true. He's the savior and the master of the depth because Pluto actually turns out as his ruling planet and this the planet of death. Um, Leo puts us all in great perspective. Leo puts us in our time of need into great empty, empty knowing that everything will be all right. Because Leo is here and he's always here to fight. He's here to fight off our thinking that things are wrong. 
He's here to really recognize in us a great new victorious song. He pushes us towards a greater being, more like a sergeant or a lieutenant, not like the greatest king. Although in that way he can be a great, the greatest leader, but he really needs people in distress to bring him here. He can't just crown over people as if he already owns it. And if he does, he seldom enjoys it. He needs a state of crisis and a state of transformation to be here for us people. He needs to be that which brings us greater education, not because he knows better or he's born so knowing, because apparently he sees us all but this is because his earth is glowing in Aquarius. He's here on earth as a great uniter. He's hilarious. He's a fool. He's somebody who's just like you and me. He's not really made here to be a great big knowledge tree. He's not made to be the greatest guru of them all. He is something that is incredibly big and strong, but at the same time, very small and mindful understanding. So this Leo sun has limits where he's standing. There is a limit to what he can achieve and do. And that's because this Leo sun is good to you only when he feels that he is also somehow not great. So when he's far too far above everybody, he cannot relate. He cannot relate to poor little people. He cannot relate to a problem that is simple. So what we need to do in our society <laughs> is to understand that Leo is the force that causes us reality checks, you know, we look to our leaders and celebrities and other elevated people, but we don't see something very simple. They're not powered by energy. They're not powered by the sun. They have come here powered by Pluto to just make us a little bit dumb, to look up to them like we little small children, to look up to them it sends chills down the spine. But we look up to death and to glamorized darkness in mind. As a Leo is not the sun of our being. Leo is Pluto. He's here for receiving. He is the void that burns deeper than anything. He is that which is hungry for something. And that's not because he's bad or he's worthless. It's just because without power, this person feels useless. So if you're a Leo, this does not mean anything bad. It just means that towards other people, you should bend. It means that this life is not about glory and being the king. This life is actually about saving something, about seeing into the underworld and seeing that which is good and then helping it elevate up. Look at your own neighborhood, you know, look at where you live and how people are doing. Look at the seeds that your community is sowing, you know, like, look at how well you know everybody. Look at how much you're looked up to by somebody. Look at how people look up to you for something and don't just snub them off. Give them that thing. Do they want you to smile and look realistic, just to make them feel like they're not worthless? Do they want you to go ballistic? Do they want you to help them out with a project or some kind of a great task? Well, don't wait for them to f pussyfoot around you and to like maybe one day ask, just generously give. And that's the secret to your helicopter. And that's this, <laughs> they heard me. <laughs> um, and that's a secret to your feelings. As the more the Leo gives, the more life will be relieving and receiving greater honesty and truth and power because you are only as powerful as you give, my friend. 
you are the biggest sunflower you are the biggest ego and the biggest knowing of one's dominance over another and that's really amazing and fantastic but we are not just followers man we are you and we create your life for you so in a way leo sun has a life that's always renewed we're always giving you new knowledge through our understanding of who you are and in that funny way you will forever star in us as something that you have been to us all whether you've been a beautiful giving kind person or a cruel taking soul so just be very mindful of how you treat others and surely enough uh, your glory is what flowers <laughs>